For all its mystery, the B-2 has seen real combat. In 1999, it opened the air campaign over Kosovo, taking out Serbian command bunkers before the first fighter jets even arrived. In Iraq, Libya and Afghanistan it destroyed hardened targets with surgical precision, often flying non-stop missions lasting over 30 hours. Each strike was a message. Distance is irrelevant. Defense is obsolete. And in 2025, the B-2 was once again at the center of global attention this time in a high-stakes, high-speed operation over Iran. Following escalating tensions over Iran's suspected nuclear weaponization, U.S. rep intelligence identified three critical nuclear development sites. Within hours, the order was given. Under the cover of darkness, a formation of B-2 spirits launched from Whiteman Air Force Base. Flying deep into contested airspace, they struck Iran's fortified nuclear facilities with precision-guided bunker-busting munitions. No warning, no radar signature. By the time defense systems reacted, the B-2s were already gone, and the sites reduced to rubble. The operation was a bold statement. The B-2 remains the U.S. military's most decisive first strike tool. Stealth isn't a relic of the past, it's the spearhead of modern deterrence. But its greatest power isn't what it drops, it's the fear it instills. Knowing that at any moment, a B-2 could be overhead, and you'd never know until it's too late. Today, it stands not just as a nuclear deterrent, but as a shadow that enforces policy without negotiation. That alone changes the rules of global warfare.